So, good morning, everyone. Uh, very nice to have you here this morning, uh, and welcome to Open Nebula Conf 2014. Uh, Mr. Lorente, our first speaker from Open Nebula Systems, will tell us about the, the new stuff from Open Nebula, current state, future. Uh, good morning, and welcome to our second Open Nebula conference. Uh, it's great to see you here, so thanks for, for coming. Well, in the following uh, 20 minutes, uh, we're going to uh, try to uh, summarize uh, our progress or our achievements during the last year of the project. So since we organized our first Open Nebula conference here in Berlin in October 2013. Uh, yeah, this is, you know, this is the, the timeline of the project. You know, we started the project in November uh, 2007. Here uh, we show the, the main milestones of our open source uh, project, but in this specific presentation, we're going to focus on this uh, last year. You know, since the, uh, our last Open Nebula Conf in September in 2013, and we are going to describe what we have achieved and what you can expect uh, from the project in the coming months. I think that it's also very interesting to to, to show that this is a vendor agnostic open source project driven by user needs. This is very important. So that's the reason why uh, we would like to show this uh, progress from the perspectives of the different ways to contribute to our project. You have here the four different ways. It's, I think it's good to, to remind these different uh, instruments to contribute in this, in this context. For example, by using the technology. So some of you, most of you are users of the technology and you contribute because you provide feedback, you contribute experiences, writing some uh, posts uh, at our blog. You also contribute in the mailing list by helping us support uh, new users. Some of you also contribute in development. You know that Open Nebula is fully open source software, it's Apache license. We uh, follow a transparent and public uh, process. And you know that you can contribute by contributing uh, new features or uh, bug fixes. Some of you also uh, help us in the communication, spreading our word. For example, you uh, have or you are leading user groups in your area. You are also or you have hosted cloud technology days and you are participating here and you are going to speak here in the context of this Open Nebula Conf. And also, it's important to show, and we will show some examples now in this presentation, that some of you are also collaborating by integrating Open Nebula with other components in the cloud ecosystem. This is also very important for us. I mean, we have to be, you know, with this infrastructure software, so we have to be part and be integrated with the rest of components. So for those uh, uh, users, we have an add-ons catalog that incorporates those uh, plugins to interface or to interact with these external components. And also we have an ecosystem uh, directory with some uh, of you, some organizations have contributed new components that, you know, complement the functionality provided by Open Nebula. So first, uh, about um, development. Well, you know that in the last year, we have uh, released four different versions of Open Nebula, 4.4, 4.6, 4.8, and 4.10. So these uh, releases had brought many innovations in the open cloud. For example, in 4.4, we uh, uh, implemented multiple uh, support for multiple system data stores. We also uh, provided policies for storage load. We also uh, rebuilt the monitoring system. Now it's highly scalable. We have users that have reported uh, Open Nebula instances uh, supported or running tens and hundreds of thousands of virtual machines. And we also improved the cloud bursting to uh, Amazon EC2. In 4.6, we uh, defined it and we provided a new provisioning model based on virtual data centers. This is for us very important and we think this is the main achievement of this year. So we wanted to provide a very easy way to offer and demand virtual data centers. So for us, this is a very good way to manage the infrastructure, you have a federated environment, and also from the perspective of the consumer, of the, of the user, it's also a very convenient way to consume the resources. Uh, Ruben, you know that is our uh, chief architect, will uh, give tomorrow a keynote about this uh, provisioning model. We also provided uh, support for the federation of Open Nebula instances. That means that you can have different Open Nebula instances in different geographic locations at different data centers. We also provide a new cloud view portal, a new sales service portal for cloud consumers. And we also provide support to import of OVAS uh, 
you know, VMware apps to um, environment running in KVM. In 4.8, uh, we continue uh, evolving and improving this uh, provisioning model by incorporating a support for one flow in CloudView. That means that the end users are able to define multi-VN applications, multi-VN uh, services uh, with elasticity. We also provided a new view for BDC admins, so the administrator of the BDC can also you know, administer and manage part of the uh, BDCs. This is very important because that means that the administrator of the cloud can delegate some administration issues to the administrator of the virtual data center. We also uh, enhance the virtual network model and we uh, support, we, well, this was uh, developed by IBM and by Microsoft, we incorporated new plugins. So with Open Nebula, now you can do cloud bursting or hybrid cloud deployments, not only with Amazon, but now also you can do that with uh, Microsoft Azure and IBM uh, Sublayer. In 4.8, that you know that we was released a few weeks ago, we uh, uh, incorporated support for VMware vCenter. Okay, so you can easily build a uh, cloud on top of a uh, vCenter deployment. Uh, we also um, incorporated a uh, plugin to, to provide support through uh, the Sunstone portal, and also uh, in authentication, we provide a login token. This is, uh, these are the features that we have incorporated during the last uh, year. Of course, uh, you know that we have already started with the development of the next release, that is 4.12, that will be available after uh, Christmas. In this uh, release, uh, we are providing a new showback uh, module. We think that this is very interesting. It's one of the main demands uh, that we receive from you, from our community. Uh, with the new showback module, you will be able to track uh, cloud utilization rates of different uh, departments, business units, or the users. And also, it's a way to analyze uh, IT cost due to different departments. We also are we are also providing uh, functionality for s uh, implementing security groups, also for the migration of VNs across different system data stores. And we also are enhancing uh, the vCenter integration. This will be available, uh, we hope, after just after Christmas. And of course, um, it's very important for us to show that we would like to thank all contributors, all sponsors that have, you know, helped us in the development of the software, especially to the core developers, to the 800 users that are now registered at the Open Nebula, and also, of course, to the different uh, companies, BlackBerry, uh, Produban, Santander Bank, and Echelon, that have uh, funded some of the features that are being incorporated in, in Open Nebula. So we look forward to your contributions. So if you are interested in you know, contributing new software, new features, new bug fixes, I mean, you know how to reach us. Do not hesitate to contact us, and we can give you information about how to contribute. This is uh, about um, development, about communication. This is also a very important part. Uh, you can see here that seven uh, tech days that we have organized it during the last year. These uh, tech days have been hosted by different companies. For example, our first uh, tech day, cloud tech day, was organized by bit.nl in EDE in the Netherlands. It was in March. Then we have another tech day in Amendarejo, organized or hosted by Senatic. Then we organized two tech days in the States, one in uh, the Bay Area in Fremont, organized or hosted by Hive Solutions, another in Boca Raton in Florida, organized by TransUnion, and we also uh, have organized those two, two more, two additional uh, tech days in, in Spain, in Santiago Compostela and, and in, uh, in Barcelona. Uh, we have received uh, many emails from uh, other uh, companies interested in organizing more tech days, and we are announcing that in the coming months we are organizing tech days in Chicago, in Nabeiru, in Portugal, in Munich, uh, Lyon, Zagreb, in, and the India. So this is also very important for us, and again, uh, we would like to, to thank to all companies, uh, organizations that have hosted these uh, tech days. And I mean, we are now in the Open Nebula Conf, so we think that it's important to, to say that we look forward to organizing a tech day at your site. So if you are interested, um, I mean, we'll be available to help you in the uh, organization of this uh, uh, tech day. So if you have uh, any questions, you can, you can reach us during the conference. 
This is about uh, communication. About users, uh, we have to say that we are very proud to confirm that the uh, number of users is growing at the same rate. So during the last year, we have achieved uh, 90,000 uh, downloads from our website. Okay, you know that the number of downloads mm, is higher because here we only track downloads from our repository and not you know downloads or of or users that use Open Nebula uh, by using the package available in different Linux distributions. Okay, so uh, this is very important uh, for us. But you know that being an open source project, it's very difficult to know the uh, real number of deployments and uh, how these or companies are using Open Nebula, no? the size of the deployment, you know, if they are using in production or in development or testing, you know, that's difficult for us to, to know. The other reason why we always invite, you know, organizations to uh, write, you know, a summary of their experiences and use cases at our blog. So we would like to, to thank these uh, future users uh, Bit.nl, Avalon, China Mobile, Runtastic, and Rentalia, because they have contributed to our blog and they have, you know, detailed uh, all information about their uh, internal uh, deployments. And again, we would like to, to invite you because we look forward to having more details about your deployment experiences. So we look forward to having more information about your deployment at our, at our site. Well, um, Regarding um, use base, you know that in summer we announced a survey. Okay. Uh, we have received like 2,000 response. Uh, um, the survey was very interesting for us because, you know, again, given that we are open source and we are not able to track all uh, downloads, I mean, this provides us with information mostly about the type of cloud deployments and about uh, the architectural components of these deployments. This is so very important because mm, this way we can focus no, on those, uh, let's see, components or those configurations that are most widely used. For example, regarding operating systems, it's interesting to see that most of you uh, are using CentOS and Ubuntu as operating system. Regarding, for example, hypervisors, most of you are using KVN and VMware. It's also very interesting to see which uh, features provided by Open Nebula are most widely used. And we saw that uh, high availability of uh, multi M, multi VN uh, by OneFlow, you know, definition of multi VN applications, data center federation. This is very interesting because 40% okay, of, the, of the respondents, of the people that uh, contributed to the survey said that they are using more than one Open Nebula instance. So that is also very interesting. Hybrid cloud, the uh, implementation of the Amazon APIs, uh, the app market. So this is very interesting because it also gives us information about where to uh, focus, where to invest more resources. And about the reasons why you are using Open Nebula, uh, the main three reasons are simplicity, flexibility, and openness. Well. Next part is integration, and you know, during this last year, many of you have uh, contributed new integrations to uh, Open Nebula. We think that this this is very important because it's one part that we uh, expect, and we would like to have, you know, like more uh, contributions from the from the community. And we have received, you know, integrations uh, with uh, other components in the cloud uh, ecosystem, like Ansible, Puppet, or Forman. Also, uh, integration with uh, VMware, integration with the storage uh, system solutions like Theft, ZipDoc, or Cluster. And of course, uh, we have also received you know, um, uh, integrations or contributions regarding you know, on the uh, creation of packages with, with CentOS. So this is about uh, integration. And also, I would like to have a special mention to Microsoft and IBM because they contributed and they developed a new plugins. So now with Open Nebula, you can deploy uh, and build cloud bursting scenarios with these uh, uh, public clouds. Uh, uh, tomorrow, uh, I think it's tomorrow, today, that's today, uh, Tino Basket will uh, give a talk about uh, these uh, new uh, features, about how you can build this hybrid cloud uh, scenario using Azure and, and IBM Soft Player. Well, and of course, this is your event. So uh, thanks to uh, all speakers. 
Um, I think that's going to be very interesting, and I mean, we all are looking forward to your presentations. I mean, to uh, the details you are going to give us about your experiences and use case uh, from uh, using uh, Open Nebula. So uh, thank you very much to this uh, to all the speakers. I think it will be a it's going to be a great event. And finally, I would like to uh, remind our commitment. I think this is always very important. I would like to always have this slide at the end of our presentations. No, this is our commitment to our users or our commitment to um, to the open cloud. I mean, and also a way to to differentiate uh, from others. No, first about simplicity. I mean, with Open Nebula, we try to give a technology so you don't need an army of administrators to build and maintain your cloud. This is very important for us, simplicity. Also, openness. So with Open Nebula, you will run production-ready software. With it's fully open source with a proprietary extension that locks you in. It's also very important for us. So we want to be fully open source, and at the same time, we want to be enterprise-ready. Variability with Open Nebula, your cloud will run for years with little maintain. <coughs> and finally, about flexibility. You can easily build a cloud to fit into your data center and policies. I mean, when we started Open Nebula, you know, uh, seven years ago, uh, we envisioned cloud as an evolution of virtualization. So we wanted to build something that was able to orchestrate existing virtualization in um, data center. So offer, you know, cloud functionality, but at the same time be able to be easy to integrate to use to fit into your existing environment. So thank you very much to our uh, silver sponsors uh, of the uh, event, uh, NetWest and Open Nebula Assistant, our media sponsors, admin and uh, Linux Magazine. And I think that we also would like to thank uh, NetWest. I mean, I think that they are doing an excellent job in the, in the organization of uh, this event. So thank you very much. Just one very short announcement. Uh, you know that we have uh, Lightning Talks sessions. These sessions are at 12 today and tomorrow. Okay, you know how this type of session work. If you want to participate, you can have five minutes and only five minutes. You have to prepare only three slides. Okay, and in those three slides, you can focus on one key point. I mean, you want to describe your case, experience, new feature, demo. Okay, so far we have received five. Um, uh, yes, five presentations, so we have room for more presentations. So if you are interested in participating in these lightning talks, just send an email to, to Daniel, or you can contact him, he's here. So we look forward to your contributions there. Thank you.